like to uh, extend my thanks to all the speakers. Uh, fantastic uh, talks, uh, really. So now I really feel I've got the ammunition to carry on and uh, hopefully do wonderfully in the future. Uh, I, I like to go through the talks. I'm not. I'm going to be very brief because uh, you know we're getting to the end of this. But uh, there are a few things I need to pick up, right? So let's start with jail, right? So you asked for my version of the transformation hierarchy. Here it is. I'm going to talk about it a little bit. But you know, sequential consistency. My students understand it, right? And you know, read. Uh, Leslie Lampert wrote a wonderful four-page paper crystal clear about sequential consistency. I recommend that one. <laughs> Published in <laughs> 1979, IEEE uh, transactions. Uh, and Viking and engines, you should be very happy that I had, had an engine because the wind disappeared when we were trying to get into the harbor, right? So we had to, you know, those so-called real Vikings, we had to tow them into the harbor. Um, more technically, uh, you were talking about approximate computing, and I totally agree. I mean, this has to be this is a topic you have to work with algorithm people, and that's what we do in my in uh, in uh, at Shamos. We have a project on approximate computing, and I don't know where Alexandra is. There she is. Hi. <laughs> so Alexandra really understands, you know, the the strength of. You know, my illustration here, how you need to work across the layers and have all these layers help each other. Because you, I think you have been, you know, together with some collaborators, you have been all the way here down to the microarchitecture le level. So, so that's important. Uh, so um, connected also to uh, what Matteo uh, is working on. So we have done a lot of work on, on actually connecting especially uh, the programming model with the runtime system and the architecture and uh, try to leverage on annotations in, in OpenMP4 with um, dependency information to improve on cache management, uh, cache coherence and things like that. All right, I'm not... Manolis, uh, I really um, always uh, 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 find your talks very interesting. Where, where, where there you are? It's very strong with the light. Um, I think uh, you're right. Uh, well, it's uh, absolutely true that I mean, cache management is ineffic inefficient when when it comes to process or to process of communication. By but by being a, a, a fan of caches, I think one could do something about that. I actually related to to Eric, uh, I think that's really the problem that Eric has solved with a green cache approach to really, you know, shortcut and do be more efficient in terms of communication. Oh, Michelle. Um, yeah, I remember that uh, frightening, uh, the frightening uh, PhD defense when you, you were about to kill me with a chainsaw. <laughs> but that that was not the most scary part. So uh, I n actually not met you before, and so I, I was very nervous. You know, I reread my papers, and which most of them were published. Uh, in fact, my first ISCA paper, I reread it just to you know be able to go into the nitty gritty details. And what do I fi find in the in the published version of it? Well, there was an, an equation and a bug in latex. Uh, I just you know. Oh, he's going he's gonna to kill me for that or something else, you know. Um, but it all went well, and as uh, Michelle pointed out, we have been friends, had, had a lot of fun, and uh, had collaborated, uh, collaborating already today, uh, uh, up until today, I mean, with a textbook that, according to Yale, I, I needed some help with, <laughs> because I couldn't teach sequential consistency. It's absolutely true. That's... That that one is uh, certainly uh, Michelle's topic. Ah, Rick, um, how privileged I was to uh, come to Sun Microsystems and get you as you know the team leader. Um, uh, first of all, 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 everything you have taught me about physics, you know, uh, has been we have had fantastic uh, uh, discussions. Uh, over the years, um, 
And, but also, I, I would like to point out, I mean, in those meetings, you, when you had your team, uh, the weekly meetings, I mean, you sent an energy in the room, so I mean, I, I, I got really boosted, you know. I could work, you know, tw 24 hours in a row after that. It was absolutely great. So I learned a lot about actually how, how you, I mean, how you drive people. I mean, I got a lot of ideas about that. Um, I found the presentation really interesting, and in fact, uh, uh, this is just one example of how important it is to work on you know, filtering data, filtering out, how, how can we filter out data as at the source, as close as possible to the source, so as not to flood, flood uh, you know, the internet with a lot of data to the cloud and then do the filtering there. That's a great challenge to work on, actually. So um, that was a, a really a good, good application to show here. Oh, Matteo. Well, I, I, we met, as you pointed out, the first time in, uh, in, uh, with uh, Velko in, in this, and that was really, really fantastic trip, I have to say. Um, you got an award, was it the Tesla Award? Yeah, and that was a big, uh, the media was there, and you have to give it back again, and then you got it again, you had to give it back. <laughs> and I, 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 I didn't figure out whether you, you got many of those Tesla. <laughs> so you have like 10 such Tesla awards on... on <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, we had a lot of fun, and we have had a lot of fun over the years, you know, and... and Oh, yeah, 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 then there was the plane. Both of us were, you know, we didn't find the plane back to Belgrade really reliable, and the weather was not that great. So we were really, you know, trying to mentor each other to, to make that flight. And I really look forward now to work with you on the European Processor Initiative. Oh, there is a typo. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun, you know. Uh, give me more reasons to be regularly in Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lawrence. Um, yeah, we've had a lot of uh, interactions over the years. Um, um, countless program committee meetings and sitting in, in the bar afterwards and before. I think we've had a lot of fun. Um, um, I think we started to also interact because we I, I started to work on, on Fred level uh, speculation and that gave me gray hair too. Um, um, that was an idea I really betted on and, and, and thought it was going to fly, but I didn't make it for level speculation, right? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> uh, you have more gray hair than me, right? <laughs> <laughs> I certainly liked parallel. I, I'm going to start using that. That's <laughs> true. Mike, um, uh, excellent uh, talk. Um, uh, has, it has been great, you know, with the collaboration we have had uh, over the years in High Peak. We have done a lot of things. We're we're working today now with uh, uh, co-sharing uh, the PACT conference. It's always a great pleasure to work with you. Um, I like the uh, talk uh, because it it resonates with again the um, my my view of the uh, uh, you know. Um transformation hierarchy and how important it is for the layers to interact and how we should do that. So uh, that was an in interesting from a different perspective. Um, and I'm so glad that, uh, you know, uh, the Brexit <laughs> still going to be, you know, on the sailing boat and <laughs> sailboat. That's with a partnership. I like that one. Kuhn, uh, extremely important talk. Um, gave me a lot of things to think about. And... Uh, I think that uh, it cannot be talked too much about that topic and especially more generally on ethics topics in uh, uh, we have a requirement uh, I think that's true in many countries to uh, really state co for each university course how you address ethical issues but I think we somehow deal with it I mean it comes in, in in different perspectives into different courses but it's never an explicit thing and I think this is so important to raise awareness of ethical issues but you also uh, touched up on other things right Josep um, uh, absolutely true we, we first met when when I was visiting Stanford for uh, a little bit more than half a year back in 1991 
And what I remember is I had a lot of fun, but uh, I, I also worked, you know, like a crazy person. I think Karina could call me and then say, are you still awake? She said, well, I called her and are you still awake? And she sort of tracked, that was nine hours time difference, and she kind of tracked, well, this doesn't look right, you know. You and in fact, w just a few weeks before I got home, I had kind of, you know, turned the, the, the working hours, so I had dinner five o'clock in the night, then I, that, that was too, too much. But I often uh, was sitting with Josep, uh, we were sitting late evening, uh, beginning of the night having technical discussions it was so fun and we have uh, of course interacted a lot over the years the topics you talk about uh, we work on energy efficiency issues or absolutely correct we work on parall parallelist management um, uh, what we do in terms of energy efficiency is to uh, very related to uh, you know your your paper in ISCA 2016 where given you have QoS uh, requirements how can we actually um, uh, predict which uh, how much resources is needed to meet those demands and that's a very interesting topic to work on Eric yes um, Hawaii um, I think it we should blame uh, or thank uh, uh, Yale for that because Yale was the ones that said that it made most sense to get to Hawaii to have these task forces right nice. yes and um, yes um, uh, I remember actually you touched up on uh, how you became professor at Uppsala from having a wonderful industrial career. Um, I think you asked just, you know, as a, as a joke, uh, if I move back to Sweden, what do you recommend me to do? And then I smiled a little bit. Why don't you become a professor? <laughs> Rest is history. By the way, Green Cash is an excellent idea. I really liked it from the very beginning when we talked about it. Andre, oh, I'm glad I still have it. Where, where is Andre? You remember this one? Yeah. So the PC meeting of ISCA, oh, it was when I was program chair in 2004, and after the dinner, and I was talking to some people and I said, oh, I forgot my bag. And then I couldn't find it. By the way, this is the ISCA 2001 bag. I'm still working. Um, and, but I found another bag. <laughs> and, but that's not mine. And there was a passport. And it read Andre Sesnek. <laughs> 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 and my passport was in the other bag, right? How do we get in touch? He, he went off for the airport, right? I knew he was not going to be able to leave the country, though, because <laughs> I had his <laughs> tickets and everything. And, um, and we couldn't get, it, get in contact with him. So I went back to the hotel, and of course, uh, after, so, uh, after some time, Andre came back, so we could you know, happily exchange bags again. But everybody I see him with, you know, he, he had for a long time th this kind of bag, and I took it like this, you know. <laughs> Anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop here because there is more to do today, right? I didn't have anything to say about that one. I hope you have enjoyed uh, this afternoon. And now there is uh, this uh, social event, right, at the Universeum. So the bus is actually going to pick uh, people up, uh, uh, I was told, uh, 6.30, which is in three minutes. So I think we should just get out of here and... Thank you very much.